Do you know what time it is? It's silver and gold time. Let's get straight into it. Uh, guys, do not place a trade based on this video. Trading is risky and it can cause substantial, substantial financial loss. Trading is all about taking a probability trade and taking that exact same probability trade 10, 20, 30 times, the exact same setup. And out of that, you get your probability, you get your win-loss ratio, all that sort of stuff, right? Making money is not just by taking one trade. Anyway, with that being said, guys, if you're interested in making, making of learning how to trade the markets properly, and you're interested in learning how to get ahead of the markets, then I'm giving you a free trading course, plus also a free trial to my entire coaching program. All right, guys? So first thing in the description, click on that thing, go over there, you can actually check it all out. And uh, I'm actually doing, as I said before, guys, I'm doing it as a marketing test. So I'm not sure how long this is gonna be out for, but it's still available right now. As, as you know, right now as I'm doing this video, I don't know when, when I'm gonna close it, but that's what's happening right now. Anyway, with that being said, my guys, that being said, my guys, my guys. <laughs> Let's have a look at what the actual market is doing here. Let's go back and have a look at, have a look at silver and gold. Now, for what for, for a while, guys, I have actually said this to you. Right? I've said for a while, looking at the looking at uh, all the looking at all the indexes and looking at uh, sorry, looking at silver itself. Silver right now. If you have a look at silver right now, we actually have uh, probably this point through there. You can see that that's actually basically what happened through there. That trend line through there. I'd say that's actually pretty relevant and pretty evident. Uh, trend line to to be happening with so as I said to you before guys and this is the bigger picture we just need to keep focusing on up up and away we go we, we I believe we're getting ready for some big moves coming now in silver and gold and also especially silver why because if we just look at what the markets though it's made this high it's now made a higher low last week made a higher low um, so I believe we're likely to start getting we get start we're getting we're getting ready for this sort of move through here that's on the weekly chart there you can see on this daily chart as well too you can see how this, this market's been moving up and moving up and moving up. I believe now, guys, we're breaking above these highs through here. I believe this high low through here is going to continue to see this market moving higher. Same for gold as well, too, guys. All right, same for the gold market. Now, especially the gold market, right? If you guys are if you guys have been watching my market, my uh, market updates, it really does come down to this simple here. I said the market's probably likely to find a higher low here somewhere, or higher trough, and we'll likely start moving up. Guess what? Guess what? This week here. Guess what this what this is right now on gold? It's a higher low. Up, up, and away we go on gold right now. Now, it may not, this is a weekly chart, so we may have a little sideways week, but I believe from this here, we're likely to start breaking up, and I believe we're likely to break up above these highs here. That's not going to happen in one day. It may not happen even in one week, but I believe that right now, resistance, resistance is now becoming major support on resistance here on the weekly chart. So what do you think is going, what do you think is likely to come next? We're likely to at least, at least get up to these levels up through here, guys. So I believe by looking at this here, we're likely to see at least a three to 5% move back up to the highs there. And if you look at the GLD price, the GLD price, um, you can see basically what's happened through here. Again, once again, look on that weekly chart. You can see basically what's happened here. Little little bounce off that, that level through there. So I believe we're likely to start seeing a lot more upside, guys, in silver and gold. Uh, there's a lot more activity, a lot more a lot more bullishness in these markets. And if you've been watching my market updates for a long time, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about there and exactly how... Um, exactly how you can get ahead in the markets by just focusing on those peaks and troughs and moving forward, right guys? So the highs and lows and focus on that. We are, once again, guys, we are at this level here. We're holding this level of support right now. We just bounced off that level through there. We had a little doji week last week, oh sorry, two weeks ago. Then we had an up week on GOD. So I believe we're likely, GOD, I believe we're likely to start once again, see a three or 4% move. And then I think we, I think we can actually see a lot more move up from there as well too. So there we go, guys. There's a quick little update on uh, GOD. Same with same with the the GDX as well too. GDX came down a little bounce through there, so I believe we're likely to start continue moving back up and continue back up from here on the GDX. Uh, really, it broke up, came down, found support, so moving high on the GDX and the GDXJ. Uh, similar thing as well too, guys. You know, we actually made this high point through here. Uh, we're finding a definitely if we open up this ride through here, we see we're definitely finding a lot of support around this level through here. So I believe we're likely to see a lot more upward movement in silver and gold just by focusing on the charts. Now remember guys, things can change. That's the reason why by day by day by day we need to focus on this. But right now looking at the weekly charts, I believe we're likely to see a lot more upside to come in gold and silver.